The tourism industry on North Carolina's Crystal Coast is used to working through natural disasters like hurricanes, but now it's dealing with something new in the coronavirus. Now to your side's Camila Barco joined us live from Moorhead City with a deeper look at how the industry is staying afloat and the measures they're taking during this health crisis. Camila. Ken, many Carteret County businesses tell me they're applying for loans or receiving federal money to survive this pandemic. But many tell me it's going to be a long time from now until they get back to business as usual. Hurricane Florence damaged the facility. Spread of COVID-19. We've managed to come through. I don't know that you can consider it the other side yet because it's still, you know, kind of a... A tenuous situation, but in the last two years, Linda Thornley and the Basque Hotel have survived two hurricanes. Their focus now is on a worldwide shutdown. We're seeing the upside of the upswing just a little bit on on the industry side. Rebuilding is a familiar process along the Crystal Coast. Strong winds from Hurricane Florence ripped off the Basque Hotel's roof. And they basically took it down to the studs and started all over again. Across downtown, more storm damage, like flooding inside Silverline Jewelry and leftover mud on tables at Ruddy Duck. But uh, yeah, complete, utter destruction. For weeks, renovation became the focus at Moorhead City shops. Yep. Meanwhile, workers left for better jobs elsewhere and forcing restaurant owner Fabian Boda to cut back on hours. If we couldn't open on Mondays, we probably lost a couple hundred thousand dollars just for that. Despite the constant rebuilding, there is a small glimmer of hope for the local economy. Carteret County Economic Development Director Don Kirkman says tourism increased in the months after Florence. The county brought in $377 million from tourism in 2018. Tourism is the definite driver for all the small businesses here. But now there's a different obstacle, the coronavirus pandemic. It was never a first option. To let, let's just go ahead and close. It was, let, what else can we do to make sure that we keep the staff here? The Basque Hotel shifted strategy, marketing to Basque essential Basque workers. Um, we went to the hospital to see what they would need. We went to the port to see if they would need. It, it just becomes a different sales avenue. At Silverline Jewelry, owners looked at closing stores. Uh, we did. So we were, we were down. We, we had... Uh, yeah, we had, we, we had really considered that we were going to have to close some of the other um, locations or making judgments on where we should go or what we have to do. But the shop stayed open. Flynn's store now encourages customers to practice social distancing, limits how many are inside, and reduces person-to-person -person contact. If I have to shrink down, I will shrink down to regrow. The state is preparing for phase two. The Ruddy Duck will allow customers to pick up meals at the counter and take it to their seats or to go. We didn't know how to be able to manage a crowd or how that all that will pan out. Boda and his business partner feel it's the right decision to keep their doors open and everyone safe. You just wonder, you know, uh, uh, at the age that my partner and I are right now, whether it's, you know, we can do this or not. Business owners agree COVID-19 is more difficult than Florence, but their resiliency isn't letting them give up that easily. But we are survivors. We, we, we believe in what we do, um, and hopefully um, we all learn from this and uh, we'll get back to normal one day in the future. Crystal Coast leaders say they are waiting to see the full impacts of the coronavirus on businesses during the last two months. The county's economic development director says he is confident these businesses will make a full recovery. Live in Moorhead City, Camila Barco, 9 on your side. Camila, thank you.